find your way back to the beginning, you've got to start at the end. Or something. It's T-Sol, Lost Backwards. Hello and welcome to T-Sol, Lost Backwards, the series where I watch the TV show Lost in reverse chronological order and see if I can make sense of it. I'm Eric Everly and I will be your chief demodeler today. Now since we begin with the series finale, this one might run a little bit long because it is a two-parter. But other than that, there's nothing else, so let's just get started. Lost appears to be a heartfelt family drama about the lovable staff of LAX and the notable doctors that are among them. The most notable of which is this guy, Dr. Handsome. He and his ragtag group of friends spend their time planning heists and looking poignantly at people, places, and things, while the depressing soundtrack sets the mood. While scoping out their next mark in the General Lee, a less handsome than Dr. Handsome guy named Desmond and someone named Kate see a coffin delivered that contains the corpse of someone named Christian Shepard. It's probably the person who taught them all how to be thieves, some Italian jobby thing like that. After subjecting the audience to some dialogue, Desmond starts the car and takes Kate to meet Dr. Handsome. They're trying to convince him to come out of retirement for one last job, but for some reason Dr. Handsome is lost. <laughs> He's wading in a river, being subjected to some awkward biblical metaphors by some blonde dude. Okay, now Dr. Handsome, Kate, blonde guy, and a giant nerd are sitting around discussing their latest heist. Something about light, leprechauns, someone named Jacob? Though that might have been part of that biblical metaphor that we were dealing with earlier. I'll admit, I expected to be very confused at this point. But I did not expect to be this confused less than eight minutes into the episode. Okay, the title sequence is clearly mocking me, because yes, I am lost. Bumblebee the Transformers pulling into a motel. The nerd and some other dude. The nerd tranks a hobbit rock star after some dialogue. It's just something like time travel. We're flashing back, or possibly forward to the heist. Blonde guy, whose name appears to be James, blows his cover immediately while spying on a, bl on a bald guy. Okay, after some more dialogue, it appears that Baldy and the weasel are going to go blow up the island. I'm changing my mind. This is not a family drama. This is a historical drama set in the late 40s in the South Pacific Islands while they're testing nuclear bombs. Baldy must be in charge of the U.S. nuclear program, so the destruction of the island they keep talking about is literal when they're testing whatever the weapon is. Probably a tritium-boosted fission bomb, something like that. I'm, that. I'm just guessing. Desmond is getting woken up by Lassie and his friends. Uh, must have been saved from a well. More time travel talk. Bernard and his wife are talking about the Prime Directive. She and the nerd would really get along. Before we can get our feet under us, Baldy and the Weasel show up again, and they're threatening to kill Bernard and his wife. Desmond is the head scientist. He knows how all the weapons work. Baldy's just looking for results. They're obviously butting heads on how exactly to go about doing this weapon, or whether or not it's an ethical thing to do. Desmond now is talking about the light, and Baldy seems totally shocked that he knows what it is. He's the head scientist. Of course he knows what the light is, it's the atomic blast that's gonna happen. Oh look, more characters. An Asian dude and some white guy with way too much eyeliner are talking about black smoke. Must be like fallout or something. Okay, now we're flashing sideways to Bumblebee's wedding. There's a different Asian dude and his wife and they're at the hospital getting an ultrasound during which they flash another direction to a different ultrasound or maybe it's the same ultrasound. Some ships explode. Lots of embracing on a beach. I think I'm missing something. Handsome at all meets Baldy at all. Kate is apparent, obviously reading my mind, trying to make something interesting happen and starts shooting for no explained reasons. Dr. Handsome has a dialogue contest with Baldy and ekes out a win by spoiling the end of the episode, apparently. Oh, Baldy, Handsome, and Desmond are recreating the last scene of A River Runs Through It. While they're getting ready, Desmond and Handsome are having some sort of debate about which time travel rules this universe falls under. Now we're back inside Bumblebee. The nerd and a guy named Saeed are watching a bar fight. It seems that the nerd is trying to recreate some sort of Batman-esque origin story for Saeed. Saeed manages to karate harder than the other guy. 
Then Saeed has a flashback thingy with the bar fight victim's girlfriend. Meanwhile, still, Baldy and Handsome have some dialogue while lowering Desmond into a hole into the ground. But I guess Baldy isn't Baldy? He's someone wearing Baldy's face, so the lowering into the hole, this is some sort of tribute to Silence of the Lambs. Desmond is going to do a thing. It's either going to destroy the island or save it. Some sort of instrumentality thing, but it involves him pulling the plug out of the Age of Ultron scrying pool, pool. After he pulls the stopper, it appears that Baldy was right and the island is going to be destroyed. Baldy and Handsome almost have a fight scene, but Baldy is shocked that he is apparently doing his own stunts and bleeding, so he cuts it short by hitting Handsome with a rock. Okay, we're on the B story, or maybe the C story, who knows. This involves the tranked hobbit from earlier. He's at some concert where the ultrasound doctor, child, a pregnant girl, and Desmond are attending. After prolonged eye contact that somehow forces the girl to go into the labor, running backstage, she goes from 0 to 10 centimeters in no time at all, and then starts to have a flashback. Okay, it's the same people, same birth again, but Mr. Hobbit is somehow involved. Desmond returns and is asking if they understand. I say, no, I don't understand. Back at the island, Desmond pools shenanigans are causing earthquakes. The island's sinking. Okay, there's some people that are trying to fix the plane and then other people that need to get to the plane using a boat. There may be a train involved at some point in the middle. Baldy has beaten everyone to the boat, but Handsome shows up to finish that fight scene they almost had earlier. After missing the chance to use a cool one-liner like, sorry, I forgot the anesthesia, Baldy stabs Handsome right in his handsome kidneys. Kate saves the day with a well-placed shot and a well-placed one-liner. Okay, now we're flashing back, forward, and Handsome appears to have put aside this grudge, or this is before the grudge, and is now going to doing back surgery on Baldy. Baldy has a mid-flashback flashback, spouts some nonsense to Handsome. That is super unprofessional. This man just got out of back surgery and is talking gibberish, probably still under the effects of anesthesia, and Handsome is getting all flustered because he said something weird. Okay, we're back on the island. Earthquakes are still happening. Handsome, stab wounds and all, decides that he the only way to fix this is to put the plug back in that scrying pool. Half the party goes with him and half decide to jump off a cliff, probably just to get out of having to do this dialogue. We flash sideways and blonde guy and someone have a flashback. And then Handsome and Kate have a flashback too. Before, after, whenever, Handsome's party are back at the cave where they left Desmond. The nerd has a breakdown about some sort of duty that Handsome has. There's a weird, uncomfortable communion scene. He drinks the water and now the land is in him or something. Handsome is then lowered into what is now apparently hell to replug the scrying pool and be a big damn hero. Since there's 20 minutes left in the episode, it's not it's not working. Wait, now it is working. Oh, but then Handsome is stuck and the hot tub of doom fills with water. In the future, real world, whatever this is, Handsome and Kate arrive at a church where the others who already got their flashbacks have congregated. They talk of time travel and dead fathers. Handsome enters some sort of omni-denominational staging room to find a coffin and hopefully gets his own flashback. But it turns out the coffin is empty and Handsome is dead. Or he was dead the whole time. Maybe? His father shows up, or his father's ghost shows up, and lets him know how all this funky new ghost powers work. Ah, Handsome and his father enter the room of a thousand characters and a million HUDs. Bunch of people we haven't met before. All the while, they're ignoring visions of Handsome's death. As alone as he entered the world and far from those he loves, Handsome's handsome eyelids close for the last time. Tune in next week for the adventures of Dr. Handsome and his zany ghost pals. Since I've now seen infinity more episodes of Lost than I have before, next week should be a little more coherent. In the meantime, follow me on Twitter at Lost underscore backwards, or on the website TSOL, lostbackwards.wordpress.com, and of course on YouTube.